Thank you for your interest in volunteering for the Hearst Euless Bedford Independent School District. Our Volunteers in Public Schools, or VIPS system, is a very critical component to the success of our schools and our students. As educators, our profession is held to a very high standard when it comes to our professional behavior as educators and as citizens. After all, we work with the most precious resource in our community, our children. Our teachers are guided by the Texas Standards for Professional Ethical Conduct, Practices, and Performance, which can be found in both the Texas Education Code and our local board policy. As a volunteer and a partner in the process of raising our kids, we hold the expectations for your service to the same level as that of our teachers. To simplify our presentation, we have narrowed that to two categories, personal integrity and ethical conduct. Personal integrity really speaks to who you are as an individual. We need to live out our integrity in front of our students and be an example for them. Each volunteer will have a background check run as part of the application process. This is for the protection of our students. The first time that you serve on a campus, you will be asked to provide some means of photo identification to verify that you have completed your volunteer application process. In order to maintain that level of protection throughout the year, it is necessary for us to have the most up-to-date information regarding anyone who works with our students. For this reason, if you are arrested for any crime during the course of your volunteerism, it will be necessary for you to contact the Office of Auxiliary Human Resources to inform them of your arrest. This is the office that conducts all of the background checks for our volunteers. Your information will be handled confidentially. Upon that notification, it will be necessary for us to reevaluate the status of your background information to make a decision of eligibility for continued volunteering. Failure to contact our office could result in an automatic ineligibility status for continued service to our district. Ethical conduct deals with our relationships with other people. The very act of volunteerism puts us in close relationship to those we serve. There are a few areas that are critical issues when it comes to volunteer and student-staff relationships. When you work with students or are in and around the school setting, you inevitably will come across information that, for the safety and welfare of our students, needs to remain confidential. You will be expected to hold that confidence, whether the information is personal, medical, or academic in nature unless disclosure of that information is required by law. If you have any questions about certain types of information, please contact Campus Administration for assistance. All students who attend school-sponsored activities are expected to ride in HEB ISD vehicles. Employees and volunteers should never drive a student in their personal vehicles, nor should you ever be alone with a student in a vehicle at any time. These situations leave you wide open for liability in case of accidents or accusations of wrongdoing in situations where you have no secondary witnesses. When working with students, volunteers can often incite an emotional response from students that, that may not be expected. Be aware of situations where emotions are heightened, either in a negative confrontation or even in a dramatic, sensitive way when you've connected with a student in a very positive situation. Either end of that spectrum of emotions can create a physical response that's inappropriate. Hands off is the best rule of thumb. Disciplining a student is not the role of a volunteer. You should always seek the help of an HEB staff member if the situation requires redirection of a student. Physical comforting is also not appropriate as it can easily be misconstrued by the student or others. Children can be very vulnerable and trusting. It is our job to protect that trust. There is never a time when a romantic or inappropriate social relationship is acceptable. As a volunteer, you must always see the students through an adult-child lens. There is no age of consent in Texas, so always be conscious of your actions and your speech 
to make sure that they are appropriate and cannot be misinterpreted by anyone. There are many behaviors that fall within the two extremes of the physical touch spectrum, some of which are listed for you. Some seem playful and might even be intended as even helpful. However, when you physically touch a student, you have made yourself vulnerable to possible unintended consequences. In all of these situations, be discerning and constantly aware of your surroundings. Not being alone with the child is the best insurance of all that you will be beyond reproach. Our world of electronic media continues to grow and expand at exponential rates. Oftentimes our children are savvier in technology than the adults around them. It's how they prefer to communicate in their world. Use extreme caution if you're a user of the social media platforms. It's not advisable to accept HEB ISD students as friends on your account unless you have some external or pre-existing reason to do so. You might be a Sunday school teacher, a scout leader, or a club coach and may communicate for those purposes, and that's understandable. You may have a relationship through family friendships or neighborhood acquaintances. That too is fine. Look at your wall, your links, and all the other places that you invite others once they're on your site, and consider whether or not they're appropriate for children and whether they are representative of that higher standard for educators. The same goes for texting. Within the capacity of your role as a volunteer, it's just best not to go there. Just remember that you're not on their level. You are held to a higher standard and need to be always mindful of your communication and the power and influence that you have in the life of the students you will be serving. We hope these critical reminders will be of benefit to you and keep your experience as a volunteer positive and rewarding. If you have any questions regarding any of the information that has been presented, please contact Judy Ramos, Director of Communications, 